This is a 1976 American Motors Pacer, a total disaster from initial concept to final execution. The ad campaign for the car emphasized that it was the first wide small car. Introducing the AMC Pacer, the first wide small car. To which the public responded, what's that got to do with anything? I love this car for three reasons. It doesn't work, looks ridiculous, and falls apart. Which makes it the perfect car for my guest today, Mr. George Costanza. George was my best friend for almost every single day of the 1990s. I'm Jerry Seinfeld, and this is Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. I can't believe the Super Bowl is in New York. Well, they gotta have it somewhere. You know, we're missing Bruno Mars. I don't know why we had to leave. I wanted to get something to eat. I'm recording the second half. We'll catch up in 10 minutes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why do we have to take the car? Why don't we just go to the coffee shop? Because I want to try this other place, where they put the cinnamon on the tuna. What? What is that? It's cinnamon. Is cinnamon ever bad? Cinnamon enhances everything. What's with you? Nothing. Uh... So you're going to love this place. They sprinkle the cinnamon on the tuna. On the tuna. So it, it really enhances the flavor. Instead of just tuna, I didn't know they'd be close for the Super Bowl. It's not my fault. All right, something's going on here. Nothing's going on. All right. Coffee? Please. All right, come on. You've been in a mood all day. I come over for the Super Bowl, you don't put out a chip? I put out a chip. You know I like the curly chip. You didn't put it out. I noticed that right away. I'm sick of the curly chip. You're hosting the Super Bowl. It's just the two of us. I'm hosting you. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get invited to another party. So that's it. Yeah, that's what happened. No, I got invited to anything. What was that? Nothing. You mumbled something. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. OK, I did mumble. If I wanted to tell you, I would say it. That's the point of the mumble. I know the point of the mumble. I don't think you do. You really want to know what I mumbled? You want me to tell you? Yeah, I do. I got invited to the Wassersteins. The Wassersteins? Great Super Bowl party. I know. We went there two years ago. I know. So we could have both gone again. Yeah, yeah. People go. Going. Another mumble? Yeah, that's right. What? The Wassersteins don't like you. The Wassersteins don't like me? They do not. Why don't the Wassersteins like me? Because at their Super Bowl party two years ago, the Giants were in it, and you overcheered. You ruined the whole party. It was a football game. It was the Giants. What was I supposed to do? I cheered. Cheering is one thing. You don't overcheer. The constant pounding on the coffee table. Pounding, pounding, pounding. You pushed his wife against the wall on the Manningham catch. She almost broke her collarbone. Was there anything else? Yes, there was one more thing. The coup de grace. You availed yourself of the toilet in their master bedroom. You know why. Well, I know why. Everyone knew why. But you don't do it. Not at the Wasserstein's. So you didn't go because of me. That's right. But you didn't tell me. I mumbled it. <sighs> All right, I mean this. I'm, I'm being 100% sincere. Mm-hmm. Go watch the second half with the Wasserstein's. Seriously? Go ahead, get out of here. Really? Please. I think you mean it. I do. Here's my coat. Take it. Two sleeves. Put it on. I'm gone. I'm going home using my own toilet. No judgment. 
Oh, no. Oh, hello, Newman. Hello, Jerry. What are you doing here? Well, the uh, Wassersteins went a bit savory this year, so I had to make a quick Danish run. <laughs> well, I'd better get back. Come on, Seahawk! Come on! Newman! You mumbled something? No. Again? 